if De Hang, the accountant, will be able to completely overthrow Sib, or if it is going to be a 2-1 series. We step back into the action now with a decider on Molten Force. Sib, of course, is someone who likes his faster champions a fair bit. We see him play them quite frequently, delaying Mega quite a bit of the spawn, getting some some inventive camera angles right here, seeing both of our players move around in third burst, and Sib just took a bad rail. I think he just popped the injection to get himself healed right back up as he's making his way back to his main item. The Hang definitely did most of the damage in that first engagement, and Sib is struggling. Quick back rocket though, as he tries to slow down the push. <sighs> Realizes there was a turret yeah. there, so he doesn't want to try and overextend. Needs to destroy it! Barely stays alive, and Dehang will fly in like the Flying Dutchman on that Aizen, and just zaps him down with the LG to punish. Such a clever turret play too. He knew he had done so much damage to Sip, so he just threw it down to cover his escape route, making it almost impossible for Sip to get out. He should have kept running. He would have had time to just run past the turret and get out, but by, but by basically backing up and then just hesitating, he, he waited for it to get fully stacked up, or fully deployed rather, and that ultimately ended up killing him. I think it just put the fear into him, and he, he didn't want to run the risk, terrified of going down to that turret. Now, 1 minute 30 in, to hang. He has the lead, but Sib, is there anything he can get going? Can he try and get under the skin of De Hang here? As he is starting to get himself into a good position. If the rail would have connected, it would have been lovely. Instead, he's the one that gets chipped, loses out that mega, and the bite the bite. The battle for the heavy could be very awkward now. Yeah, Sib will take down that turret though, so he will not be taking any damage from the deployable. Oh, the LG too strong. Sib positioned himself too far out there. Yeah. He could have been closer to the doorway, achieved the same thing, but he jumped too far into the room to escape without taking any damage. And now the hang is on a warpath. Sib. But Sib was just waiting there with the gauntlet out. Nice little escape. The hang unable to find the damage. And now it's the race for the heavy. I don't think Sib should be here. Not with the stack that he has now. And indeed, he decides against sticking around. He's going to leave heavy to the hang. And might actually be in a good position to set up for, he for Mega already, rather. Yeah, he should be able to take Mega, especially after landing that rail. We'll drop down on it. This is bad for the hang. The accountant has to get out of here. Still lingering around. Sip leaving him down with 16 points of health. Good plays from Sip. Very quick on the reaction right there. Yeah. The hang. Whoa. I mean, it's, it's unlucky for him, really. Goes back through, just completely annihilated, stripped of any of his life forces. Sip's hitting some filthy rails. If he can keep this up, it could be a whole different storyline to what we've seen on the previous maps. He looks good when those rails hit. Mega again going to Sip. Seeing a bit of a split right there. The Hang taking heavy. Sip getting the health. He's got to be careful though. That tribal that'll shred these light champions. Heavy is the next major item to spawn. Oh, the Hang actually drops down. Lands a good rail, but he surrendered position on heavy. Sip. Shouldn't be sticking around, I don't feel like. The hang dropped for Mega. At least Sib does secure the heavy, because that could have gone wrong. The hang dropping down like that, I don't really know about that play. Good trap from Sib. Not sure about the injection, but it'll it'll pay off in the end. I did he think that he got railed, maybe? Maybe he felt like he took damage and he just wanted to heal it right back up, but... Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was a bit of an odd one, because obviously it seemed like the downtime you have in between, where you're yeah. disarmed, off the back of the injection, that could have actually spelled a, a, a bit of a downpour for him. Luckily enough, it didn't come back to bite him. He does get through finding that frag. That was a, an interesting one, though. Yeah. Either way, he's tied things all back up. Sib still in the running. Definitely not going to take this one lying down. Oh, that's a good play from the hang. Gets excellent positioning. Sib, zero armor to his name. The rails need to be good. Needs to dodge the rockets. Escape as you still can. What is the hang gonna do? The hang is going to play it passive. Not gonna just chase to Mega! Oh, Sib with the misreads! He had a clear path onto Mega, but he just assumed, I think, that the Hang would chase, or that the Hang had already picked up Heavy, or was going around the completely the other way. 
He's, oh. he's got inside his own head. Expected the counterplay. Instead, De Hang just, just roamed. Just yeah. carried on pushing. That's awful. That's such a bad position to fall into now as De Hang, he gets a fair bit of control off the back of that. It's also a one frag lead as well. We're five minutes into the game now. Ooh, that's an awkward fight to take after two really clinical rails get slapped into him as well. Sib, he is on the back foot. At least he should be able to claim a mega. Yep. He does get the health boost. Oh, takes a bad rocket on there. And another, and the Ooh. rail too, De Hang. If that would have been a kill, that would have been frag moving material right there. Unfortunately for the hang, doesn't pan out that way, but he does finish it off with a little bit of LG right there. Now Sip's in trouble. Yeah, this is bad. Doubles his frags and he's looking to get even more. Sip is taking so much damage and it will be the HMG to finally lay him to rest. Five frags now. Maybe six if he can snatch this one away, as he will get the Mega. No, Sib, too fast for his own good, dives back in, snatches the Mega, and stays alive, barely. The Hang now, solid control of the top of the map. He's gonna drop down, gets a really good read on Sib, but the damage needs to be there as well. Hang on, this is an opportunity for Sib. Can't find the angle on the rail, though, and Heavy is up in a few seconds. If Sib knows this, this might be his ticket back into it. He does secure himself the heavy. And he's got a good setup for Mega though. Oh man, that's a little bit of cheeky damage right there. And every little bit of damage matters so much more when you do it to a light champion because they just have that naturally lower stack to work with. And this is sending Sip right back to the drawing board. He needs to stack up a little bit, whereas the Hank can just play much more of a passive defensive game and essentially wait things out. Good switch to the LG. Oh my god. That's the aim, right? The aim that we were hyping up when we were talking about the Hang, explaining that even though Rafa often tends to overshadow him a little bit when it comes to duel at least, this man knows how to handle the entire arsenal of Quake, and he does so extremely well. Very proficient with every single weapon in the game. So smart, but even better when it comes to his brawn. At this point, it's a 7-2 to two score line. We're coming up towards the eight minute mark as well. Dang, is he looking to claim himself a seventh kill? Potentially so. Is the rocket boop? I thought that was gonna be the ring out. Could have very well been, but uh, Sip staying in the arena. He's not giving up just yet, but this is a dire situation right now. But two minutes left to go. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Oh, so I How get this man a plaster? He has hurt himself. Sip's still alive after all that. He should have been dead a long time ago, but he's clinging on for dear life. But to what ends? Can he still find some frags? Is there anything he can do to bring it back? If he goes up the bounce pad, might not be the best decision to make. Luckily enough, instead, he loops back and tries to catch to hang off guard. The rail comes out with the direct rocket. is going to shatter him and do more damage to his confidence as well as it sends him packing. Relocates as he starts to head back on over towards the heavy. It is up in one second, so he should be able to claim it. De Hang is hot on his tail, though. Chasing. He's still not picked up the heavy. He is close by. Finally grabs it. If he drops down, the target it might have had something to say, but instead it's his railgun that slays De Hang. He needs three frags in the space of 60 seconds, and that's a good start. That is indeed an excellent way for Sip to open up. One, One minute, though. Three frags to go. It is possible, Ooh. but he needs to hit shots like that consistently. There we go. Here's a good opener for Sip. Can he get a good read of the spawn? He can. The hang spawns at LG. One. Can he find another? Yes, he can. It's a one frag game right now. Heavy goes to Sip. This is far from over just yet. And he's going to find him again. Sip. The hang ended up suiciding. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Five to five. Sip still in it to win it. 30 seconds left. Tied game. Sip's looking pretty good. He's got to be careful about the turret, though. There's a turret down here to jump at, and I don't know if he's familiar with it. Oh, no. 
Murph, is this the position that we've come back into? It was so set that it was going to be a 3 0 for Dehang. Now there's potential that this could be a 2 1 split. Sib, 10 seconds till sudden death, lands the rail, stops Dehang dead in his tracks. He gets the better of him as he tries to delve above. He doesn't want to run any risks and throw this one away, so he tries to hold on strong. Denies the light as we fall into sudden death. It's all down to this. One frag will decide the outcome of this map, Dehang. Playing it slow, tiptoes his way down. Sees the turret, this is, this takes is really it close. out, but it's the nice LG. Stab. The hang? Is he gonna go down? Oh, both players reload. Ooh. Sip finds it. Man, what an excellent comeback from Sip. That's ridiculous. To finish it with a super shotgun as well <laughs> from a substantial distance. Sib barely steals this one away. The comeback into that game was phenomenal. Sib should absolutely be very content with his performance. Yeah. That was an amazing comeback. And even the other two games, they were pretty close, yeah. right? Even if the hang ended up pulling away more and more towards the end, Sib really started off really strong, did a good job controlling everything. His aim was on point, And then that comeback, that shows more than anything else, a great deal of mental resilience. So many players, when they're down that amount of frags against the top player, they would panic. They would think, it's basically over. I'm just going to run through the motions, but there's nothing I can really do. But Sip, he just really showed that he's got the mindset, he's got the spirit to continue fighting until the very end, and it paid off for him beautifully. Yeah, I mean, he nailed it. That was flawless, flawless Sib on display there for the last 45 seconds of that match. He crushed it. Ridiculous rails. Just Absolutely. how impactful they were will just ring true for a very, very long time. This is reassuring to me. Even though he lost 2-1, to one, the fact that it came this close and he made that combat happen against a top player of the Hang's caliber, that to me really shows that Sib belongs in the Quake Pro League. He is oh, yeah. absolutely at home here. And if he can continue playing and improving the way he has, I think we're going to see some great things come out of him. Series wide, he looked damn good. He had some amazing performances, some highlight reel worthy frags. Absolutely. But most importantly, I think it's the resilience like, that. that was shown here. Four frags in a minute and 15 seconds. Crazy. That's amazing. Sip. Congratulations, The Hang, of course, for winning the series. But my God, Sip. He has earned his spot in the Quake Pro League. He's going above and beyond to show that he too can play with the biggest of boys, and I'm loving it. Yep, he is tussling. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the cell and absolutely raised hell. Here is the tweet from Sib as well. After he, uh, he basically wanted to try and show that he is coming back in, he wants to absolutely show that he is good enough. And I, I think he has proven that. that. That's a tweet from the 3rd of November 2019. So that is when he dropped out of the Pro yeah. League to Dewey. He's saying, this isn't the end. It's the start to a new beautiful chapter in my life, the beginning. And I think he's living up to that. Congratulations, yeah. Seb. Well done. Exactly. Those words have rung true as he is proving he is at that level. Yep. He's absolutely smashed it there. A 2-1 series. Dehang walks away with the majority of the points. But Sib has come back in with a wonderful opener into stage three, obviously, after not being with us for an entire stage. Yeah, absolutely. I think when it comes to Dehang, this is more or less what we can expect. Yeah. Great aim, great place, great control. Just, you know, overall greatness coming out of the liquid player. But really, I think that most people's attention will be caught by Sib right? Mm. And this spells a lot of good things for stage three. If this is the kind of level that we can expect from all our challengers, my goodness, some of the established pros, they need to look out. Yeah, you want to have your guard up and really give them the respect they deserve because they're proving they deserve it. A yeah. magnificent performance there as he will lock it down. If that one got you excited for some high flying, high fragging quake, there is still even more to come tonight. A whole lot of action coming up as our next game will be up after the break. Let's check out who is going to be duking it out on the server as we will delve into game six. Don't worry about that one. We'll actually, we'll tease that there. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll tease it. We'll tease it there. We'll tease it there. That's what we like to do. Of course, we will be back with more Quake action. Stay tuned. More to come. If you're enjoying the show tonight, hit us up on Twitter. Hashtag Quake Pro League. Let us know your favorite moments. Me and Flea will rejoin you in a few seconds with more Quake.